good afternoon, everybody. My name is Scott McGann, uh, doing the July 8th, 2022 um, COVID-19 update for the town of Falmouth. Uh, Falmouth Health Department's uh, website is uh, falmouthma.gov. You go to the health department page. Health at falmouthma.gov, and our phone number is 508-495-7485. And actually, on the main page, we have a separate COVID page as well. This presentation will be put on it. So what are we at? So we have 5,116 cases of COVID since the beginning of the outbreak. These are PCR tests only. This does not include uh, rapid uh, tests that were going on through the years at a facility, um, nor does it count home tests. So the number isn't inherently accurate, especially as you've gotten uh, since about uh, January, December, January, when the home tests come out. But uh, that's the numbers that the state bases everything off is the PCRs. So that's 41 confirmed cases for the week. Um, similar number the previous week. I've been doing these. I'm going to start doing these now every other week. Uh, 10 probable tests. Those are not home tests. Those are the ones that you would get at a facility like Convenient MD or CVS. Okay. Our 14-day incidence rate, daily incidence rate, which is adjusted per 100,000 population so that all the towns look alike. When you see that slide, I'll explain, is uh, 24 uh, 0 0.5 between 619 and 72 and it was previously 25.6 so pretty pretty uh, similar number our 14 day positivity is 7.15 it was 7.15 uh, a couple weeks back and so those are um, all all that based on PCR home tests are not are not counted in any way shape or form so there is a multiplier uh, no one really knows the exact number it might be two or three times um, but most uh, positives right now are probably from the home kits and the guidance is on the website and sort of off the radar. But, um, you know, looking at COVID uh, cases, it's been like that since January. And so we can't compare it sort of similarly to itself. And looking at the chart, you can see that we've had a very similar four weeks uh, stretch um, of around uh, 45 to 50 uh, PCR positive per week tests. Looking at this chart, you can see that uh, one of the things is, you know, the, the summertime is usually the flattest time. The, f the, f the flatter this line is, this blue line curve, um, and the more densely pop close together the dots are, uh, the better you're doing. And you can see this was that Omicron outbreak that we had in January where everybody's having a boatload of cases. You can see them spread out and going up rapidly. You can see that this summer is not quite as flat as previous summers, and it is what it is, and that's sort of what, the, what we are now. There's... A fair amount of COVID out there, and it's been out there for a while, and there's sort of a baseline to it, and that's kind of, you know, it's it, it's at a higher rate than what the deltas in the original um, COVID was. So, um, it's a more it's a easily more easily spread. Plus, we don't do mitigation like we did in the previous summers. We're not you know masking at the beach or the bike path or any of those things of this nature. At least mandating things as such. Um, things aren't shut down. We're back to essentially normal living um, for most of us, and you know, so so it's got more of an opportunity, um, but it's not causing the same rate of hospitalizations and deaths that the previous versions were. If we were doing the same thing with the previous versions, we'd be in a lot worse shape in terms of hospitalizations and so forth. This week we bumped into the medium category, um, and the reason being is the new COVID-19 admissions. This is the entire county. This isn't Falmouth. This is done by the CDC. Uh, new COVID-19 admissions per 100,000 population is 10.1. You have to be 10 or less to remain in the low. So we jumped because we jumped to 10.1. Our case count is still fewer than 200 um, per 100,000 uh, per week. And the uh, number of beds, uh, inpatient beds uh, in use with uh, patients with confirmed uh, COVID-19 is 2.9, which is well below 10%. Um, so two of the three categories would be in the low, but we did jump over for admissions. So we go to the medium category. And um, so this is updated uh, weekly, and um, I'll keep posting this on the website as well. Uh, face coverings, again, medium if you're immunocompromised or at high risk, uh, talk to your health care provider, uh, consider wearing masks um, based on your health status. Uh, some people wear them, some people wear them all the time, some, you know, most don't. Um, again, high risk is more, you know, high risk for severe illness, even if you're vaccinated and boosted. Uh, people can still get severely ill no matter what their vaccine, you know, if they, even if they are vaccinated and boosted, if they have a weakened immune system uh, due to age or due to comorbidities, you have to factor that in um, in your daily lives. Uh, these are hospitalizations for the county, uh, just sort of tracking admissions. 
Um, the numbers are relatively flat, just enough to put us over into the median this time, but I'm not seeing where we're getting a big spike in uh, number of hospitalizations and so forth. We did in June, we did have a little bit like in late May, early June. Um, nothing like the, origi uh, the original Omicron, which is the highest spike we had, or the Delta uh, issues that we had in January of 21. So um, there was a bump there, but not, you don't see it necessarily trending in any which direction upwards. Um, State, I believe, is going to start doing this on a weekly basis. I believe they're not going to, I think you'll find out next week, I think they might mention it, but I've heard they're going to go to weekly instead of daily case counts. Uh, 1,699 new cases, uh, positivity is around 7%, that's high. Um, people do still die from COVID, um, you know, weakened immune systems, going through, uh, you know, chemotherapy or uh, being at a certain age, you know, where you, you, you are in frail condition. Um, so that's where we are with the daily case counts. Trend-wise, trends are a little bit up on the positivity, an upward trend on that, not an upward trend on, on, on case counts, pretty flat on hospitalizations, pretty consistent, and deaths are not really... Um, or somewhat on a downward trend, um, at least for this for this particular snapshot, you know, for these, in this particular more recent trend. Um, the far right would be the more recent uh, time frame. Um, this is the MWRA numbers. Um, better to show you the second slide. So the southern uh, MWRA is the sewer system for the greater Boston area. Um, the left is uh, the south system, so south of Boston South, and then the north shore system. And you can see it's not, there's not really the, you know, it's on an upward trend here in the south. It was an upward, but the week before, two weeks before, and then it showed the last week a downward. But you can see it's sort of an ebb and flow, but it's relatively flat. There's peaks and valleys, but there's not like huge spikes. Uh, the big giant spike that's off the chart on the far left was coming down from Omicron, where it was uh, the, the viral DNA that they were able to detect in the wastewater. And then again, I told you about that late May, early June, you had a, another spike that was indicated there also with the MWRA. So it's sort of similar, right? So we see it in Falmouth. We also see it up towards, up towards Boston as well. So here's our incidence rate. Again, 20.2 for that particular time frame. Um, let me just go up here for one sec. I meant to put 20.2. That was a mistake on my end. Sorry about that. Um, so the 20.2 is what we were from the time frame of June 19th to July 2nd, which puts us sort of right around where the state is, slightly higher than the state average, right around in a middle road there. Some towns are doing worse, some towns are doing better. Um, that's our incidence rate. And our positivity is similar, a uh, little bit higher than the state. There's plenty of towns that are, have a higher positivity, plenty of towns that are lower. So, but very, you know, very similar numbers. Um, uh, among uh, Cape Towns. In terms of vaccinated individuals and cases, uh, this has been pretty stable. Um, so in terms of the entire uh, outbreak, the entire pandemic, there's been 10,121. This would be PCR. Again, no one knows what the home tests are doing. These are PCRs. These are known tests. Um, 617,337 breakthrough cases, 10,000 required hospitalization. So that's 1.64%. And the death rate is 0.52 among vaccinated people. Um, and this, these numbers are pretty stable. It's usually been one and a half to 1.75% hospitalizations and around a half percent plus or minus um, for uh, deaths among cases. So there's nothing indicating that even though the cases are still humming along, um, that uh, hospitalizations are, are, or you know, deaths are worse, you know, hospitalizations are worse are, are, are really sort of changing right now. Vaccines, plenty. I, we check every week. There's plenty of vaccine available. Pharmacies, uh, community health centers. Um, just go on vaxfinder. Uh, mass .gov, uh, anywhere you are, if you, you know, you want to get a vaccine, this is readily available. The homebound, those who can't make it to a clinic, if you've come back to your summer home and you're, or you're, an, if you notice that a neighbor has maybe. Um, somewhat homebound, you can call the Falmouth Health Department. We can arrange, make an arrangement with the VNA. Um, that's been in place for well over a year. Again, plenty of doses. Testing-wise, a lot of people are using home kits. Um, home kits are generally readily available. We just got some home kits that we're going to distribute to the senior center and to the service center and to senior housing. Um, you know, we got some uh, to home kits. Um, and you can get them at the pharmacies. You can order them online. Um, Falmouth Hospital still has a testing, Community MD, the pharmacies are still doing testing. 
Uh, so nothing's really changed on that. Again, vaccines, you can do uh, six months to four. This is the state's website. You can get all the information if you just click on that. Uh, 5 to 11, uh, 12 to 17. All your vaccine information is um, um, mass.gov. Um, and it's, again, re readily available. We've administered, uh, well, the town you know, residents have gotten 152 doses since the 15th to the 5th, so from June 15th to the 5th, um, 29 being 0 to 4. Um, I thought that was a little low, but that's what the state gave us on the website. You know, they, they do a spreadsheet each week, and that's what the number is, but that's what the number is for at least for this particular time frame. Uh, 45 first doses, 43 second doses, 64 booster doses is what the state's showing, 152 total tests, uh, total uh, vaccines administered for uh, the second half of June into July 4th. So um, those are the numbers that I have. Uh, talking about variants, the BA5 seems to be the predominant one now. Um, you know, you can see this color chart up in the far right, uh, far left rather, the dark purple was the original Omicron, has disappeared and pretty much gone away. And then it was followed by the BA2, which has been worked out through the system from April on. And then the BA2-2.12 uh, um, became dominant, but not the most dominant. It didn't completely take over because the BA5, and also the same thing for BA4, the BA5 seems to be the, most, uh, the one that spreads the most rapid and seems to be taking over all those. I would suspect that the darker green, the BA5, will... Uh, in the next couple of weeks, right now I think it's somewhere 54% of the country is what I've read. Uh, it's BA5. That That's going to go and take over um, this stuff, these really quick. The BA4 didn't really take off. And to some extent, the 12 didn't take off quite. It did, but it never got more than, you know, this one, I think the BA5 may get into the 90s because it just seems to be moving really quickly. So uh, BA5 is uh, probably more, is more spreadable. It doesn't tend to cause more uh, severe illness than the previous Omicron's. It's just out competing. Um, it's um, it's it's relatives. So it's the BA five seems to going to be the what's what we have for the rest of the summer, in my opinion. Again, so as a recap, our state accounts are stable but not low. Uh, I wouldn't say you know a lot of people aren't using uh, PCR and 40, 50 cases per week. That might mean 150 cases of real cases a week when you uh, add in the home kits. So you know COVID's around. Uh, it hasn't tapered off and dropped away, primarily because these new variants are more contagious. Uh, we are medium, barely. Um, we're high-low, high I guess, or low-medium, as I want to look at it. Um, so, you know, in terms of hospitalizations, it's not out of control. It's just we did, we did uh, go above 10 on that uh, chart I showed you. There is plenty of vaccine, plenty of testing capability. There's uh, booster doses available. Uh, and this vaccine's been approved for zero to four. There are no mandates. There are an advisory. I should keep making the changes. There is a an advisory the select board keeps in that would advise residents to wear masks uh, in indoor places that are town operated. So town operated, town hall, rec center, senior center, keep going on and on, that they do advise you, um, not mandate. There are no mandates. I don't necessarily see us going to mandates anytime soon. There are no mandates around, not much. The only time you really see it now for the most part, is uh, healthcare. Um, so there really isn't any mitigating strategy. There are no, you know, um, restrictions or so forth. I don't see us going back in that direction. That was a tough direction. Uh, unless these variants in the future become more severe where you have the hospitalizations getting really out of control, and we're not seeing that. So, um, so that's the update for the week. Um, again, COVID's around. Uh, not doing the damage that it, 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 it's done in previous maybe versions, um, but it's definitely around. You probably know people in your lives that have gotten COVID more recently in the past six months than you may know have relatives or friends in the last 18, the, the previous 18 months before that. So uh, it, it is around, um, but most people do fine with it. And so that's sort of the takeaway. All right, so I'll be doing this again in two weeks. Thank you.